Sounds like thunder. You're late. <laughs> We're starting to think you'd stumbled off a cliff. I seem to recall that was you, Gav. Good to see you. Any trouble on the road? Nothing we couldn't handle. I knew you'd come. Is that who I think it is? Yes. Uh, allow me to introduce my brother, Joshua. Clive's told me all about you. I were even listening most of the time. Name's Middadol, but everyone calls me Mid. My lady. Hey. <laughs> My boy, Uncle Byron. <laughs> it's really you. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> <laughs> so these Akashic are being controlled? That's what it looked like. Empty eyes, eerie blue glow. No doubt they were turned, but silent as monks, every last one of them. Your man here speaks true, Clive. We saw more than a few in the city. They moved in ranks with a purpose, and not of their own. Ultima's doing. Perhaps. What of the city? The people? Uh, dead, mostly. Mostly, but not all. A handful managed to lock themselves in their villas before the Horde arrived. Some in the merchant's district to the west, and a few of us on the far bank. Hmm. If the Akashic stumble across either hiding place, a few bolted doors won't hold them for long. We need to find them. And quickly. What do you propose? We split into two parties. I will make for the merchant's district. Well, you look to those across the river. Mind keeping an eye on my brother? Not at all. We find the villa and try the servant's entrance. Understood. And what of us? Mid, is she fit to sail? The ship? Uh, the mithril engine could probably do with a few more tweaks. Then you better work fast. Even if we do reach the survivors in time, they'll never make it to the hideaway on foot. You leave that to me. See that Mid doesn't get herself into trouble, would you? Think I can manage that? I'll keep him safe. Looks like you stuck with me, Byron. That's Lord Rossfield, you little gutter snipe. Shall we then? And you keep Clive safe. Be careful. Both of you. You too. You've caused quite the commotion. But then I would expect no less from you, Muthos. You again. I don't believe we've been introduced. You were in my family's crypt. And now you're here. With an army of Akashic thralls. Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. What? And they are all that remains in this once raucous city. You'll pay for what you've done. As you wish. 
I confess I have been very much looking forward to this. Pardon me this indulgence, Your Majesty. The vessel shall not be spoiled. I am Sleipnir of House Harvard, and you will yield! Or not. As long as you don't hold back. <laughs>
vessel is strong. My liege. Clive! You're all right. As are you, I see. We are, yes. I'm sorry, but we couldn't save them. It was over before we arrived. Well, you did what you could. I fear we were all too late. What's wrong? Nothing. I hope. So soon, Mythos. It's the king. Indeed, you may kneel before Barnabas Tharm, Warden of Ash and King of Walud. Get back. my lord commander. Yet I see why my master covets you so. The power within you, Mythos. The potential. Stop calling me Mythos. But Mythos is everything. The cornerstone of all creation. The lord's vessel. Your purpose. Purpose? To surrender my mind and body to that thing? No, Your Majesty. My purpose is my own. I made a promise to my friends, to my people. And nothing is going to stand in my way. You would allow this delusion of free will to bar your path to greatness? Truly, your volition is a cancer, one that must be excised. Hurry! 
Power beyond reckoning. And they use it as a crutch. Such a waste. Will he be all right? The Phoenix can mend flesh, but the spirit must recover on its own. I'm afraid the rest is up to him. This place is remarkable. Outfitting it must have been no small feat. But why go to such trouble? That beauty's belly is filled with wonders the world ain't ready for. If the guilds caught wind of what we're up to, they'd all want a piece. All right. And how is he? Do not blame yourself. He was barely breathing when you brought him here. We would have lost him if it were not for you. No. Barnabas may have severed nigh every sinew in my brother's body. But he made certain the wounds were not fatal. Nigh every sinew? <sighs> Allow me, your lordship. Don't know what I was thinking, putting you to the trouble like that. <laughs> Tis no trouble carrying comestibles to my ailing nephew. I know, but... You've already done so much for us. Pouring your gill into the hideway and now the ship. I don't want to take the piss. You risked your life. And for what? Some gill you hardly know. Why'd you do it? You got mad or something? I... wouldn't go that far. You're awake, my boy. Oh. What I want to do is help. And the world won't save itself. It was Sid. Your father, who taught me that. Sounds like him. Don't you dare do that again. What of the Royalists? Fucked off, the lot of them, along with the Galleon. With the King on board, no doubt. The Iron Hay, I wouldn't say without him. <sighs> Clive. Jill didn't come back. What do you mean? She kept the King busy while the others dragged you out. It's all right, Mid. Jill is fine. The ether of her icon endures. And as long as it does, we can be certain she is alive. <laughs> we must pursue the Black Galleon. Jill will be with the King, I'm sure of it. Well, good luck catching him, because my ship's going nowhere. It's the Mithril engine. She's got a kick like a wild chocobo and a mind to tear the hull in half. But do you have an idea? Uh, well, of course I do. My dad will have seen this coming a league off. If I had his old writings... If you had his old writings, you'd be sitting under a fuckload of rubble. The ones Otto didn't save anyway. I suppose he might still have a few pages in his stores. We'll have to hope it's enough. Do what you can to ready the ship. I'll speak with Otto. In your condition? You really are mad. <laughs> Perhaps. But the world really won't save itself. <laughs> <laughs>